I just, I can't help but share how much gratitude I have for, for being here with all of you and, and sharing and hearing uh, the topics and questions that do come up and how that is the, the fuel for the responsiveness and for us sharing basically from our direct experience so that it's really grounded in uh, results. And that's one of the reasons why I was drawn to Balanced View because number one, I met the founder, Candace O'Denver, and I had never met anyone with the leadership qualities and relaxed openness and heartfelt responsiveness and clarity and directness and that were just so natural and it, it was very curious to me that I had met her for the first time and that was so evident and I was in general always drawn to practical, result-oriented ways that humans can um, work in any field with practicality and result orientation and, and teaming in a way that's respectful and fun. And I hadn't, I hadn't ever seen anyone share so confidently that there is an algorithm for such a, a lifestyle. And that Balanced View is an educational uh, offer. It's an, and also a lifestyle that's grounded in naturally living, a life that's naturally human. And that includes everyone and everything, including the environment. And so I was drawn to meetings like this initially. I came to a meeting like this many times and then uh, was drawn to do the foundational training. It's called the 12 Empowerments. And I had a conventionally, uh, sat conventionally satisfying life. So I wasn't necessarily at that time looking for anything. But when I heard in the open meetings what was shared and the opportunity I decided, you know, I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna check this out because all that's suggested is if you're open and you wanna test this, then you're going to see the, the benefits and at a minimum, at a minimum, mental and emotional stability. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. And so I had, when I got involved, I didn't really, it really was kind of on an on the fly decision. But then retrospectively, I could see that I had adopted an educational model throughout my childhood, through university, um, through whatever period of time I had been in a, a career, an educational model that was, was incomplete. And Balanced View provided a balanced view, a complete view, an educational model that includes open intelligence, which is a term we utilize, but the key is to instinctively recognize open intelligence. And so what we, we suggest is that you just stop thinking for a moment. And notice that there's an alert, aware, knowing an alert, aware, clarity, whether there's a thought or no thought. But th that's obvious. And so we come to recognize that this self-knowing awareness, this alert, aware, knowing, is always on. And we may have never been uh, educated to acknowledge or recognize this fundamental basis and the inseparability of that fundamental basis from whatever the experience is, whatever the experience of the moment. And so when you're, we're given the, you're given the tool of a short moment, a short moment is acknowledging instinctively, alert, aware, knowing, simultaneous to 
the breeze of experience. So like the sky and a breeze are inseparable. That breeze isn't necessarily predicted. It can't be held on to, and it self-releases, leaving no trace. And the sky is wide open and clear, no matter what the, what the breeze, no matter the, the speed of the breeze, the, the, uh, the vastness of the breeze. You know, it's, it's apparent and self-releases. So whether it's a, a fleeting thought of, I'm thirsty, to an intense uh, uh, emotional response and, and thinking in regards to what's happening in your local or national government. You know, it's whatever it is. Most people haven't been trained to acknowledge that stable, open, easeful, sky-like mind, open intelligence. The incomplete education focuses on a person with a skin line where that intelligence may have been taught to be in, in a brain only. But open intelligence pervades everyone and everything equally. Just like the sky pervades every shade of blue equally, every breeze equally. And so we come to recognize a comprehensive intelligence that is a balanced view. It's wide open, clear, all-inclusive. So whenever we remember, we take a short moment. And sometimes for some people, it's easier when they might be experiencing an afflictive circumstance, an afflictive barrage of thoughts or emotions or physical sensations. And that might be the cue or the reminder just to relax for a moment Notice your sky-like openness. It's always on, indestructible. And that stability never changes. So we know what we can rely on. So we don't need to rely, we don't rely on the breeze going away at a certain time or the breeze having a special description that we like to be okay. It just is as it is. We trained ourselves to label things as positive, neutral, and negative, mechanistically, without even realizing we were doing it. We just adopted whatever societal and cultural and family of origin habits without really realizing. So when Balanced View, we take responsibility for our lifestyle. You know, how do we want to choose to, to live? Do we want to perpetuate a life of suffering, which is indulging in the, indulging, attempting to replace or attempting to avoid that data or that experience, or are we going to take in the comprehensive education and a balanced view in which you maintain your openness that's already the case, allow it to be as it is, allow the data to be as it is, and notice that you're okay, no matter what, no matter what. And not only are you okay no matter what, but you have the stability and openness to respond in a way that is informing decisions and suggestions and possible solutions that are mutually beneficial. And then we come to find that's our most natural disposition our most natural disposition to just be spontaneously benefit for ev everyone and everything. And we just simply trained in believing that we needed to effort to find solutions, that we needed to uh, get a certain education to find solutions or um, know the right people to find solutions. But when we maintain our aware, alert openness, then we're really capable of listening carefully and hearing anything that's going on and seeing that anything that arises could be a solution. It doesn't need to get packaged in a certain way. So there's a shift from this uh, claustrophobic, isolated idea of being someone contained in a skin line and that idea of separation that we've actually proven scientifically that's inaccurate. 
they've, they've put all kinds of things in the Hadron Collider and seen that when you break everything down to its most fundamental basis, we find basic space. But we know that's aware space now because of our intelligence is indivisible. But if that's just a concept that we read in a magazine about these, these uh, machines that break everything down to fundamental space and that they keep looking for more, you know, smaller particles, but they keep finding space, well then that's an intellectual idea. But when we, what's so different about balanced view is we ground that in instinctive realization. So returning to the basics of short moments. Whenever you remember, recognize open intelligence, always on, always stable, always ready to respond in a way that's mutually beneficial. Now because, and I'll speak for myself, because the education I, I, I initially adopted was a, a closed intelligence perspective, then I, uh, <laughs> I did the best I could. I knew that every, and, and once I was introduced to balanced view, I, I realized, wow, well, everybody's doing the best they can with the lifestyle and education they adopted. So there's, there's a relief in knowing the solution, and there's compassion for how we had pre previously been relating with ourselves and everyone else, and a, a passion to share the solution because we see this is how we're all going to live together harmoniously and, and make decisions that are of greatest benefit for all. But it has to start with each one of us taking responsibility rather than hoping that the government makes the right decisions. It's the grassroots that takes responsibility and we see this. We see this around the world with use of technology, with use of the internet that we're utilizing tools to share an educational imperative that provides the solution for us to thrive together as a human species and to care for the environment in a way that is no longer, you know, degradating. So it's so exciting. Before I, I was, I didn't even, I was, I'll just say I, the, the sensation of probably, um, uh, I was just numb to the intensity of what was going on in the world. But now there's an availability to know what's going on, but not get swayed into holding to some kind of extreme um, position. Just maintain openness amidst listening to the news, amidst hearing what everyone has to say. And in that, there is the again, the comfort of knowing the solution, to rely on open intelligence no matter what. And again, knowing that everybody's doing the best they can in those scenarios. And it always comes back to, wow, and we are participating in the solution and every time we take a short moment. Because that acknowledgement of open intelligence is acknowledgement of our indivisible intelligence. So it's actually like an activation for everyone in our indivisibility. And so I, when I heard initially in the training, never underestimate the power of a short moment, I didn't really get that initially. It opened up more and more as I directly experienced the value of relying on short moments. And because in my previous education I had adopted, and I'll just use the word addiction because that's what became apparent, an addiction to a misperception of reality, believing in separation. And anytime you come out of denial and you take responsibility for any addiction, having the support is crucial. And that's the aspect that is so different about balanced view. It totally differentiates it in the way that there's 24-7 support. So there's the website. And you can go, you can listen to free videos, access the books, listen to trainers from all over the world, listen to participants from all over the world that are simply sharing their direct experience. And the, the results of relying on short moments of open intelligence and the ways that their relationships are shifting, the way that they're showing up and being more generous with their strengths, gifts, and talents. Um, 
those that are uh, participants that have taken the trainings like the 12 Empowerments or on the Bright uh, online platform and enjoying the fundamental trainings and sharing the value. You can, you can hear on Facebook groups, uh, there is then the opportunity once you're in a training like the 12 Empowerments to have a primary trainer who you can email with, who you can be on calls with. You can go to a clarity call um, with a video conference from people all over the world and hear the shares from everyone about how they're seeing their life transform simply from showing up and relying on short moments and continuing to reflect on the value. And so for me, that was what was so key, just to keep showing up with openness, continue to reflect on what has shifted and share that and then listen carefully to others that are having you know, similar shares. And then there's also the, and so I'm sharing the global community obviously with, all, with this aspect. And, and uh, the um, short moments is one of the four mainstays. But I also want to ex ex totally <laughs> acknowledge uh, the founder because without Candace, the founder of Balanced View, there wouldn't be the four mainstays. And what's amazing about the four mainstays is a decades of comprehensive analysis went into researching what is most effective for humanity, humanity to recognize the nature of reality, to recognize what is our true identity. And so all of that research went into providing the four mainstays as an algorithm. And I had never, ever heard anyone share a social science algorithm before. I went to university, I'd heard algorithms in mathematics and science, but I was like, wow, this is a guarantee? This is an algorithm? I'm willing to test it. So I go back to what I shared in the beginning. Anyone who's just open enough to, to test it, you'll see the results. And then you'll see just solutions arise in your life that are seem quite magical. And what I notice is, is that there's not only relief initially, but there's more and more ease and more and more a sense of effortlessness, more and more sense of openness, more and more sense of deepening love and intimacy in all relationships and deep care that you become to recognize is so natural. That's how we're meant to live together. So then there's more fun, even if the circumstance seems horrendous. We know, okay, what are my options right now? I can either suffer by trying to avoid, indulge, or replace that circumstance, or I can maintain openness, allow all that dynamic energy that's coming up to be as it is, let it burn off just like a breeze does, and notice, well, what's the solution that arises? The solution in the moment could be, I don't know. But what I do know is I can rely on open intelligence for confidence that solutions will arise or that I'll know who, it, who to ask for help or I'll know that I can go to the mainstays to keep gra stay grounded in open intelligence. Because I had plenty of training in a lifestyle of a closed intelligence and I know what that was like, and I didn't really know that there was another option. So once I realized that and had the support and empowerment to take responsibility for my choices, then it was easier and easier to, to choose because I, I knew what the uh, consequences are, so to speak, and, and the value to keep relying on a, a lifestyle that's grounded in reality and that's a balanced view, a comprehensive view. So it's, 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 it's beyond what you can imagine. Uh, I did borrow confidence from those that had gone before, and I know everyone that's gone before makes it easier for those that are introduced now. So whatever it is that seems to be the um, current opportunity, that's your training ground, whatever it is, the house remodel, the current events in the news, your family dynamics, you know, that's your opportunity to rely on short moments so that it's a moment by moment responsiveness and then it's fresh and natural. Yeah, so.
now. Thank you so much, everyone.